Welcome to Codium AI. Today we're going to take a look at the Spring Framework, the most popular Java framework in the world. It's a vast interconnected library, and we're going to take as an example the sample application for Spring called Spring Pet Clinic and try to add tests to it. Spring Pet Clinic is kind of like a CRM or a management system for veterinarians. It's a great example of what Spring can do. More specifically, we're going to look at the existing test suite for Spring Pet Clinic. It's an open source application, by the way, and we'll try to see which tests we can add to it using Codium AI's test generation abilities. Let's get started. Before we start, it's important to mention something about Spring. Spring is an MVC-based application, a model view controller architecture-based application. It means that there are three distinct parts to it, a model that defines a data structure, a view that defines the display, and a controller that contains all the logic for the application. Naturally, for testing purposes, we should look at the controller side of things. That's not to say that there aren't tests for views or for models, but for the sake of simplicity and making this an interesting video, we're going to look at the controller side of things. Even more specifically, we're going to look at Vet Controller, which is the controller that defines all the logic around the veterinarian's part of the application. So a CRM would naturally have parts for the users, the pets they have, and the vets which are assigned to work on the pets. There are two main ways Codium AI can generate tests. The first one is generating off the code itself by highlighting and clicking the Generate Tests button. It's a great way to test components where the test setup is not complex, like business logic classes and functions, utility code, and the like. In addition, you can add reference tests to this type of testing, which is not shown in this video, but can be done from the Codium AI write pane. In contrast, you can also go into the test file for the same controller and click Add More Tests with Codium AI. When you do that, it takes into consideration all the settings that are involved and the best practices that are involved with creating a test suite for this controller, and then generates tests specifically for it. Let's explore what Codium AI has to offer. First and foremost, the configuration pane will allow you to add general instructions to the tests. These are kind of like prompts that you can add that will apply in bulk to all of the tests that Codium AI generates. In addition, if you look at the existing test analysis pane, it will let you know which tests already exist in the test suite and kind of list them for you before you start generating more tests. Furthermore, if we're looking at the behavior coverage pane here, this essentially contains a coverage analysis report. It lets you know which tests already exist in the generated tests and which you should generate further, meaning what tests you can add in order to increase the coverage of the application. Note that there's a lot of different types of unit tests being generated here. Behaviors that are both on the happy path and considered edge cases of the application. In addition, if you want to add your own behavior, which we will do momentarily, you can add it using this custom box here. One small comment before we move away. This context box is a major part of the difference between the two different types of testing. When you're looking at the add to existing test application option, the code under test is taken into consideration as well as the test suite. Let's kick things off by keeping it simple. Let's look at a test that retrieves all the vet instances with pagination, meaning it will check whether the pagination functionality of the application works correctly by approaching the first page in the paginated returned result set. When I'm copying the code and putting it right into the application here, you can see that the comment is already here, everything is set, and we can just press play like we used to do with a normal test. IntelliJ will now run this generated test and we can see that the test has passed successfully. Let's try and add another test here, something that's a little bit of an edge case, setting a vet's ID to a negative value. I'm going to generate it, and then go to the test. I'm going to copy it, put it in here, and then run the test. and it passes pretty easily, not surprising. Note that if you want to modify a test that you've already created, you can also try this ChatGPT-like box at the bottom. For example, I can ask it to test more than one paginated page. It will now generate an additional test using something similar to what we had before. We can also add a new custom test, which essentially allows me to enter a prompt and have Codium AI generate tests for me. Let's try to test a large list of records. 
Let's see what goes on. The test has been generated. It tries to generate a pretty large list of vets and uh, succeeds in doing so. One last thing before I let you go. What if you don't want to generate tests from a component directly and you don't have an existing test suite to work off of? A very simple way to solve this would be creating a super simple test, in this case just a three-line test that I wrote, and scaffolding it, quote unquote, inside the existing test setup that you wanted to have. In this case, Codium AI would understand that this is a test file, and then when you generate tests using it, you only need one test in order to create a pretty robust test suite for your component. In a moment, you will see that Codium AI knows how to generate a pretty significant amount of behaviors out of a simple test, because it also looks not only on the test by itself, but on the code where the test was generated from. Whether you're looking to test your existing code or you're trying to augment your existing test suite, Codium AI works in both ways. It really is a great way to create good, robust, and comprehensive tests without writing a lot of code. Following off from that, go to Codium.ai if you want to start using the plugins. We have a VS Code extension, a JetBrains extension, and are looking forward to seeing you soon.